Hey guys, it's Elena. Today I wanted to show you a process that I'm calling intuitive abstraction, where I try to turn off my brain and just create something for the pure enjoyment of it, not trying to think too much about the outcome. This can be a really healing process if you're feeling creatively blocked, which I do all the time. And it's really helpful to just give yourself permission to play and remove the pressure to perform. In digital art, we do have the undo button, which I have used plenty for this piece, but it's also important to just let things develop and see where it takes you instead of trying to control the outcome too much. For this piece, I'm using the Procreate app and I will be using my painterly brush set, which is available for purchase in the link down in the description. But if you don't have those brushes, you can do something similar with any brushes that you do have. So let's go ahead and get started. My canvas size is 16 by 20 inches at 300 dpi and I'm using a color palette called Inky Abstract which comes with a brush set that I sell that has the same name. However, I have now added it to my free resources library for my email subscribers and you can see more information about that below in the description. So using my painterly brush set, I'm going to select the dry oil brush and I will use this brush with varied pressure to create some swirly lines as a base for this piece. And from there, I'm going to select my flat gesso and super dry brushes and just continue building up this texture and color using different types of lines as uh, intuitively as I can, just to see where it takes me. At this point I was really enjoying how these contradicting lines were just weaving in and out between each other, so I decided to go ahead and lean into that a bit more. I wanted to create an effect that looked like using a comb or a rake to smear the paint outward. So I chose my flat acrylic blend brush and started to very lightly drag it in straight lines through the piece. And you can do this at using it as a brush with a light color as I've done here, or you can also use it with the smudge tool to do a similar effect.
Now I've gone for my super dry brush again in an off-white color to add more texture throughout the piece and this time I will also use it to make some straight lines as well as curvy lines. And after using this brush, I'm going to go back to my soft flat acrylic as well. I like to use several different brushes to make the texture a bit more interesting and more contrasty. Now I've chosen the detail brush and I will use this in dark colors to draw some squiggly lines through the base of the piece that I just made. Now I'm adding a new layer above the piece where I will add my metallics. I've chosen a beige color and my metallic paint brush and I will use this brush to add a few more squiggly lines throughout the piece to complement those darker lines underneath. And after using this brush, I will also use my metallic strokes brush to add a couple of little blobs that remind me of gold flakes throughout the piece as well.
Now as a finishing touch, I switched to my Inky Abstract Dynamic Brush Set and I chose the Dots One brush to add some dotted lines along some of these curves. And I'm changing the size for each dotted line so that each one looks slightly different than the last. And if you don't have this brush or a similar one, you can always just doodle some white circles with a regular drawing brush and that could have the same effect. And I did this step because I wanted to look like details from a Posca paint pen, if you're familiar with those. They're a lot of fun for doodling on top of mixed media pieces. So that was the effect that I was going for here. I hope that this video was helpful to you and got your creativity flowing. Feel free to let me know in the comments if you have any questions for me and please consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. I hope that you have a really great week and thank you so much for watching.